So I've been working on this Troy built rototiller, uh, the horse rototiller, and uh, again, this was the barn find that uh, I've been uh, rebuilding. And here you can see it has um, the new carburetor on it, but it doesn't have the the air filter or the uh, or the cover on it yet. But you can see the the new carburetor and the new fuel line there. Um, and I was going to try to use the original carburetor, but <laughs> let me show you why I didn't. So this is the carburetor as it looked when I very first took it off. I mean, it was it was so gunked up and and just solid junk in inside. Um, but I still, you know, I took it apart and I put it in some cleaning fluid and uh, and let it sit for a while. So here's the carburetor I took off of it. And it was a mess. This is after it's been soaking in this cleaning fluid for for days and it's still in such bad shape. Um, I was hoping to be able to use it, but it was pretty nasty it still is pretty nasty even after soaking it so um, so I saved the spacer here for mounting um, and I was able to find this carburetor here if you take a look the the mounting's the same the body's the same um, a couple of linkage here uh, looks like for the for the choke has the same linkage and here on the throttle I'm just going to transplant this part of the throttle over to this so that I'll have the same linkage and other than that and then I save the the spacer that was needed here um, and it should go right on so We'll have a nice new carburetor on this sucker, but, uh, but yeah, this was pretty bad. So I'll transplant everything and we'll get it ready. Luckily this, uh, this whole kit came with uh, some fuel hose, cutoff valve, and uh, hose clamps, and there's the gasket. So uh, I'll be ready to go.